Oh, sorry, I didn't, didn't, uh, didn't see you there. Um, is it even safe to go to Disney? Like, what are the tips and tricks? Let's find out. Everybody, welcome back. It's Haley. If you are new here, please subscribe and don't forget to follow me over here on social. I am a travel blogger that literally does every kind of travel you can think of. I cruise. I love Disney. I love jet setting to Europe. I love road trips. So if that is something you are into, this is the channel for you. All right, today we're going to tackle a question that I got on Instagram a little while ago when I put one of those ask me whatever kind of questions and somebody was asking me about how safe is it to travel to Disney right now? Are there deals out there? So that is what we're gonna cover today. So first things first, let's tackle the elephant in the room. Is it safe to travel, let alone to Disney World? This is all gonna be based on your particular situation. I personally, from working in the hotel industry and the travel industry and knowing the precautions that are being taken. I've been in conferences with airline CEOs. Um, I can tell you that if you are not a high risk individual, there are safe ways to travel. There are safe ways to do it. It all depends on what you personally are comfortable with. And it also requires you to be respectful wherever you're going. But at the end of the day, you need to assess your own personal situation and make those judgment calls. I mean, we take a risk any day when you walk out your door, you could get hit by a bus, get into a car accident, who knows? Um, but you have to assess your own situation and you have to be smart. You have to respect the guidelines of where you're going. So that's the first part. Now let's get more into the fun stuff. So one of the things that you need to know, if you are planning a Walt Disney World Resort vacation and you want to stay on property, these right here, are the only hotels that are currently open on property. Now this could change going forward and I will make an update video, but as of right now, <laughs> these are what are open and where you can make reservations. Now, with that being said, you guys need to remember that hotels price on supply and demand and there aren't necessarily a ton of like big hotel deals. Like you would think in the middle of a pandemic, like other hotels, you're seeing some really great deals. Disney not so much because people have still been going to Disney, you know, throughout this pandemic and they've been opening more hotels as we've gone. But um, I would say the prices are pretty similar. Um, I'm going to put up a little rate shop I did right here <laughs> just for you guys to have as a frame of reference. And if you guys are curious about some of these resorts that were up here, I highly encourage you to check out my blog down below. I have a bunch of different Disney articles from dining to hotel reviews, so you can see which one is right for you. So make sure you check those out. So what are some ways that you can stay safe at Disney right now? So some of the things that I recommend are before you go, purchase your masks, purchase your hand sanitizer, Lysol wipes, just have those with you ready to go. Cause if you're gonna, gonna, if you're going to buy hand sanitizer in the parks, let's be honest, that magical sanitizer is gonna be expensive cause I mean, it's Disney. Um, so make sure you have all that purchased ahead of time. One of the biggest things that you need to do though, is you need to download the Disney My Experience app, My Disney Experience, part of me app, because they're really trying to hone in on mobile ordering. I know you guys, if you've been with me a while, have heard me talk about on this channel, how great mobile ordering is at Disney. Like you literally pull up the app, pick your food, and you just go up to the pickup area at the venue. It's really great. Um, so some of, those are some of the things that you can do right now. And if you're staying on property, you can actually check in to your hotel um, five days prior to actually arriving. Kind of like an e-check-in, more contactless, so make sure you do that. All right, let's talk about the theme parks a little bit. So as of right now, you have to make a reservation for the parks. So you can't just buy a ticket and show up. You actually have to go to the resort availability calendar and make a reservation. I'll put that link down here so that you guys have that. Now face coverings are gonna be required in all the parks. They do have rest areas where you can take a quick break and they're also gonna be doing temperature checks. So know this ahead of time. Don't give them a hard time. Everybody's going through it. Just, you know, the guidelines are the guidelines. If you don't like them, just don't go. 
So one of the things that Disney brought back as of January of this year, 2021, is the park hopper option. Now originally you were only able to go to a park a day. However, with the park hopper option, you still need to make a reservation at the initial park before you can hop, so. And the other caveat is that park hopping doesn't begin until 2 p.m. So you have to stay in that initial park until 2 p.m. before you can hop to the other, and you can hop to the other park and stay until the closing time. Now keep in mind, Disney's hours are actually starting to expand, so check the link down below. I know there's gonna be a lot of links, but they're all labeled for you um, to see the different park times. You need to be aware of those. Another thing to keep in mind about that park hopping option is that it is subject to availability. So for example, if Magic Kingdom is already at its capacity, you're not gonna be able to hop there. Some other things that you need to keep in mind is that the Magic Banks are no longer free. So if you have some old ones, bring them with you. If not, purchase a cool one ahead of time where you can actually purchase them when you get there, but they are no longer free. Another thing to keep in mind is that Fast Pass Plus is not currently available. Now, even though the parks are reduced in size, I have been seen through TikTok, through live videos, that some of the wait times are pretty hefty. Um, so keep that in mind as well. You definitely wanna get there a little earlier in the day to get your favorite rides done because the queues are filling up a bit, especially since they're spacing out seating as well. Now, as of right now, they are not doing extra magic hours, but if you are staying at a Disney resort, you can get into the park 30 minutes earlier. Now, although the dining plan is not currently available, you can make reservations 60 days prior to arrival. That used to be 180 days, but as of right now, currently it is 60 days prior to travel. So the biggest way to probably save money on a Disney vacation right now, and I know this completely contradicts most things that I've said, is to consider staying off property. Hotels that are Disney World Good Neighbor Partners that are not Disney affiliated are more likely to have more deals right now. They're having a harder time filling up occupancy in their hotels. So even the Swan and Dolphin, it's Disney, but it's not, um, has had some really great deals that I have seen going through the app right here. I'm gonna put it up. <laughs> There's some great Hilton, IHG, and Wyndham properties near uh, Disney Springs. I low key almost said downtown Disney. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, so that's probably going to be the biggest way. And of course, airfare to Orlando is very, very cheap right now. Um, those are going to be the biggest ways that you're going to save money. I mean, there's little meal ways that you can save money at Disney by bringing your own food or, you know, going back to the hotel and having food there that's already in your room. Uh, but the biggest bangs for your buck are gonna be using Google Flights, and there's a video on here about that. And there's an exclusive video for my Patreon patrons, which quick shout out to them right here. Thank you so much. You helped me enable to keep this blog running and moving forward and hopefully back to traveling really soon here. Um, so yeah, hotels and flights are gonna be your biggest uh, price savers right now. Now you can find some deals through like Snap Travel and Priceline. I'm not the biggest fan of those websites working in the hotel industry. I like having control over my reservations and a lot of the hotel brands right now have really great cancellation policies and best price guarantees. So while you might save a couple bucks on Priceline, name your own tool, um, you know, there's there's just a lot of ifs that can go with that. And if you're curious about that, I actually talk about this on my TikTok channel a lot, um, what actually happens. And if you guys would like to see a video on that more in depth, let me know down in the comments here. But that is the biggest things that you need to know, ways that you can save some money right now going to Disney World. Let me know down in the comment section what your favorite Disney attraction is or any questions that you have. I will be back here next Wednesday. Until then, see you guys later. Bye. Do, 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 And bonus points if you actually know what that song is.